Hey, hello and welcome back to another cubing video. So today I'm going to be continuing the last unboxing and reviewing and unboxing the YJ Pocket Timer. So let's get right into it. So right off the bat, it comes with some of these instructions, which are in Chinese, so not really helpful if you can't speak Chinese. And it also comes with this wristband, so you can attach that to the pocket timer and you can carry it around on your wrist, I guess. Um, but yes, it's, so it, it does come with that as well. But let's get right into the YJ pocket timer and see how it works. So in the back here, it does require two AAA batteries. So I will go grab some and I will be right back. All right, so let's turn this thing on and see how it works. All right, so um, is that a five? Did it already? Okay. Um, let me figure this thing out. It's definitely not helpful at all that these instructions are in Chinese, so um, I'm gonna have to play around with it and see what happens. Okay, reset button and I'm not sure what that is. Let's try starting it and stopping it. So start and go. No, doesn't work. Okay, start and go. So I am back and uh, I kind of figured out how this thing works now. Um, this is the save button, this is the reset button and then you have the sensors on either side, as long as well as the power button. And you can also plug this thing in uh, to the computer, I believe, from there. I haven't tested that out, but I assume it's just like any stack mat. I did notice one thing, and that is it works perfectly fine on a surface that isn't white. So if I take it and put it on a surface like this, it will automatically start the timer and it won't work properly. So see, it started on its own. So um, if you put it on a surface that isn't very bright and white, generally it works just fine. Uh, the LCD display is uh, fairly bright actually. It just looks kind of dim on the camera uh, or overexposed on the camera, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's a very nifty pocket timer. I kind of like it. Um, the only downside to it is that it is a little bit lacking on the sensitivity side. So if you start the timer and then you stop like out here, it won't do anything. And so you have to be pretty close to it to actually make it stop. And so I found myself sometimes uh, timing it myself and then I go to stop the timer and it won't stop because I'm not close enough. But I mean, I guess that's better than uh, being super sensitive and overly sensitive anyway. But anyway, that is my unboxing of the YJ Pocket Timer. I actually really like this and I'm probably going to be using this quite a bit uh, at some point. But yeah, this is just a nifty little gadget. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you in the next video.